In this video, we've compiled a list of the top email marketing questions that we get asked. Now, if you are new to email marketing, then you might find this a handy resource for quick answers on the hot topics and also demystify some of the email marketing terminologies. Do I have to add an unsubscribe link to my mailings? When you send out email marketing, it's a legal requirement that you give your viewers an option to be excluded from further mailings. Here at Email Blaster, our software auto manages this for you by inserting a link on every email that you send, deleting anyone that clicks on this link. Why is it important to use a UK based email marketing company? Now, if you're a UK business, then it would be handy to have decent support on hand when you need it. It can be really frustrating when you want to ask a quick question and you have to wait 24 hours to get a reply because your supplier is in America. GDPR also requires that your contact private data is stored within the protection of the EU and UK law. So if you are using a software supplier based in America, GDPR says you need to seek the permission of everybody prior to uploading their data to an American-based server. Do I have to ask people to opt in before emailing them? Yes, you do. You will need to do this if you are using email marketing software to send out your email marketing. Any reputable supplier will ask that you have consent in place prior to sending any emails. What is GDPR? GDPR is the General Data Protection Regulation. It came into place in May 2018 and it details the legal responsibilities and liabilities for companies gathering, holding and processing people's private data. This is for consumers and businesses. It is an EU law but since Brexit it also still applies to the UK businesses as we have agreed to use it. What are legitimate interests? Legitimate interest refers to a section of the GDPR law. It says that you can email businesses without their consent if they have a legitimate interest in your products or services. So, whilst the law says it's okay to gather business email addresses off of the internet, software suppliers such as Email Blaster will ask you to gain the consent of address owners prior to emailing them. What is a bounce? A bounce is an email failure. It occurs when your email did not reach the destination. These are split into two groups, a hard bounce and a soft bounce. A hard bounce is a permanent failure. This could be that the domain doesn't exist anymore. A soft bounce is a temporary failure. This could be that the domain is not currently accepting emails. What is domain verification? Domain verification is required if you are using email marketing software to send out your communications. As your emails are effectively being sent by a third party, lots of mail filters will insist on a seal of authenticity being in place before accepting emails. This seal of authenticity is domain verification. It involves adding an SPF record and a DKIM signature to your company domain name. Can I use purchase lists? Well, you can use purchase lists of business email addresses if all of the recipients have asked to be added to that list and proof of their opt-in can be supplied if it's asked for. Now, if you're thinking of buying a list and parting with your money, be sure to do your homework first and make sure that a good opt-in is in place. Are purchase lists worth using? Well, in a nutshell, no, they're not. They're typically not very good quality and the opt-in process can be sketchy to say the least. Here at Email Blaster, we advocate avoiding using these simply because they don't work. Response rates are low and addresses are typically really poor quality. How can I get more email addresses? There are a multitude of ways to grow your list of opted in subscribers. These include opt-in forms for your website, social media competitions, asking for the email address of everybody who contacts your business. What is a sender score? A sender score is a credibility score attached to the sending server for your email marketing communications. If your bounce rate and spam complaints are high, then this will lower that score. If people are reading and engaging with your emails, then your score will be higher. Now, a high score increases the chances of your email being delivered to the inbox. A lower score means it could go straight into spam. What is double opt-in? Double opt-in is the most secure way of asking people to join your mailing list. 
If they enter their details on a web form, they will then be sent an email to the address that they have provided, asking them to confirm their addition to your list. Now, using this method is fully GDPR compliant, and it also ensures that your list is not polluted by bots entering invalid data into it. When is the best time to send a campaign? Now, it used to be that the best times were shortly after lunch on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. In recent years, though, this has really changed as we are no longer chained to our desks reading emails on desktop computers. Now that we are reading emails on our mobile devices, it means that peak times are much more fluid. Try sending at different times to establish the best sending time for your company. What is A-B testing? A-B testing refers to sending different variants of your campaign to small sample sections of your database. Whichever variant has the best open rate or conversions can then be sent to the rest of your database. It really takes the guesswork out of your email marketing. Now different variants could include the subject header line, the body text, the sending identity or the design. Can I send out email marketing from my own email address? Now, if you use email marketing software such as Email Blaster, then your email would be sent via our sending network of servers, but will appear to your viewers as being from you. So whilst your email address is not used to send it, it will appear as being so, yes. Can I use my Gmail or Hotmail account to send out email marketing? No, you can't. In order to send out email marketing, your company will need its own domain name, which you own. Companies that provide free email addresses such as Hotmail or Gmail will block their addresses from being used to send out email marketing. What is a good open rate? Now this really does vary from industry to industry. It is affected by the quality of your mailing list and how good your email is. As a rule of thumb though, an open rate of around 15% or higher is a decent benchmark. How can I make sure my email doesn't end up in junk? Now to ensure good inbox placement, there are a few simple rules to follow. Verify your sending domain. Don't use spam phrases in your body. Don't send emails to people that didn't ask to receive them. Following these basic principles will ensure great deliverability and generate a higher sender score. Can I use video in my email? Now pretty much all email readers nowadays still do not support the direct rendering of video inside an email. Unfortunately, the main players have been slow to add this capability to their email browsers. Now the Email Blaster software gives you the facility to create a link to a video hosted on YouTube or similar to render a thumbnail and a link inside your email. This is the most effective way of delivering email content inside your email marketing. Can I see who opened my email? Yes, you can see this information and so much more. Any decent email marketing software, such as Email Blaster, will have an analytics suite. This will show you key information needed to study the success of your email, such as bounces, unsubscribes, reads, clicks, and even the device that they looked at it on. Okay, now there's a quick run through of the most frequently asked questions that we get here at Email Blaster. I hope you found this video useful and informative and learned something today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe or if you've got any comments or if you've got any questions that you'd like the answer to, please jot them down in the comments below. Thank you.